Oh, one quick thing I forgot to mention in the video. Some brokers such as IBFX Australia and Go Markets, and there's a couple of other brokers that use what's called nano lots. The majority of brokers for their standard accounts, they'll offer the standard lot size, which is 100,000 units of the base currency. And then you have the next size is a mini lot, which is 10,000 units of the base currency. And then you have a micro lot, which is 1,000 units of the base currency. But there are a couple of brokers that actually offer nano lots which really comes in handy for cost averaging strategies. However, the way that the MetaTrader 4 platform works, you can't just type in like 0.001 for the nano lot. So what the broker actually did is they created separate types of accounts. So a standard account will, may go down to micro lot size, but then they created like a mini account or a different type of account that actually handles the nano lots. So where am I going with this? My point here is that in order to use this spreadsheet to calculate nano lots, you have to move the decimal over one. You have to move the decimal in F2 and you have to move the decimal in the exchange rate over uh, one decimal place to the left. And so that will make sure that all of your positions here are calculated correctly for uh, an account that uses nano lots. So in order to take advantage of that and to set up the expert advisor or your manual trading, you're going to have to change, move over the decimal place, one place to the left for F5 and F2, which is the pip value and the exchange rate. And the same thing is true for the Martingale calculator. You have to do the same thing uh, down here. You move the exchange rate and the pip value you don't even have to worry about the pit value, but you would move the pit value, you move the decimal value over one. That will make sure that it is calculated correctly. The margin required, as you can see for nano lots, the margin required is a lot less. Of course, uh, the money you make is a lot less, uh, is less also, although those penny contracts actually add up and we actually show you, I can actually show you how they add up, but that's a whole nother video. I just wanted to point out that to use it for a nano lot, you just simply move the decimal over and everything else is the same. Alright, thanks for listening.